Okay. Discussing the dynamics of this example requires thinking in a broader context than what we have become used to in this class, but many of the ideas that we are familiar with are not only represented here, but are expanded upon in a very satisfactory way. Consider a system x and an input u. It was easy to put equations of motion into x for a simple oscillator, and to set u as an impulse or step. This is what we did for many of the activities in this class. During the last ICGE, we experienced the true nature of X and U, that is, that they are not really separate. An audio signal might appear totally random. However, sound arises from physics. The signal must be deterministic, and we might model it as an input in a plant. A short demonstration will show how quickly this can get out of hand. The dynamics of a trombone seem simple at first. The player produces an input signal, a buzz. The mouthpiece helps a player stabilize the buzz and produce it over a wider range of frequencies. Finally, when the instrument is assembled, the desired tone is produced. What is the input in this case? The buzz or the buzz mouthpiece system? Ultimately, it's impossible to say. There are also a multitude of factors not even considered here. And our signal is made up of dozens of instruments playing together and interacting with a hall. The point is that it doesn't really matter how we choose to split up this system into inputs and plants. It will remain deterministic if complex, and we can always model it. This is a hard departure from the simple dynamic systems we examined in class. You might be curious if the control theory we learned could still be applied to an extremely complex signal like this. As it turns out, classical control theory is all over the world of audio engineering. What we're looking at here is a sample of the Calpoli Symphony performing the Pines of Rome. And we're going to look at a device called a compressor, which allows us to control an audio signal. So here is a compressor interface. Specifically, a compressor is a audio device that allows us to force a signal to a particular sound level that we want. It reduces the dynamic range of an audio signal by making the quiet parts louder and the loud parts quieter. And it does this through a couple of laws that are very similar to the classical control laws that we've learned in class. Specifically, these are ratio and knee. Ratio is like a proportionality controller in that the higher you set it, the more force that the system exerts on a signal that goes past the threshold. So very high ratios actually produce a lot of compression, which we can hear, as you'll hear later. The knee is more analogous to a derivative control, and then there are two, there are two varieties of this. There are soft knee and hard knee. Soft knee is analogous to a low level of derivative control in that it actually analyzes the rate of change of the audio levels as it approaches the threshold and smooths it out accordingly. Hard knee compression is like a ridiculously high derivative control in that it will chop it off into a square wave almost. This effect is very audible and it creates a lot of distortion as we'll hear in this example. Right now the compressor is deactivated, so let's listen to this sample of the symphony as it is just raw. It's worth noting the massive dynamic range of this. It goes from very quiet to very loud when the horn section comes in. Now, to illustrate a point perhaps too much, we're going to activate this compressor with some very, very high ratio and knee. So essentially, we're going to hear what way too much compression sounds like. And notice the audio distortion. <laughs> Did that sound enjoyable? Probably not, because it sounds like garbage to me. What this illustrates is very similar to if you've ever installed too much of a, of a control constant into one of your controllers in class. When the system oscillates wildly out of control, we're seeing something similar with this compressor, and that it's chopping off so much of the signal that all we get is noise. 